And then the professor consulted very afraid on DBKL still. So they still go back to DBKL and say, yeah, can, can, can you can So at the end of the day, it still goes through the whole cycle, but you know, we're, we're learning. Uh, but then, to get everything from your liquor license, your entertainment permits, etc., etc., can take you anywhere between one to three years. Okay? And by the way, you can't submit this until the facility is ready. So, I mean, some people are clever enough to work out their ways, and this is where we talk about corruption and nepotism and everything else, but you know, it's not a long story which we shall keep aside. But the point about it is it's a very, very difficult path to meander through. So this is why IRIDA is set up, to help facilitate that process for a new investor into the region. And so somebody else will do this for you. Lah. So the whole idea is you go to, to go to IRIDA and they do all the hard work for you. You just let it pretty and put money in it. Okay. All right. No, 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 don't give the money. <laughs> you put money in it, no, 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 to IRIDA. Okay, so that's IRIDA. Um, and it's a federal agency and we created by an act of parliament. Um, and then you have this kind of investment, the organization I work for, uh, which is a catalytic developer. What does it mean? We do projects which don't make money, uh, but, but important because otherwise the people that want to make money don't come. Right? So uh, we build schools, we build hospitals, we build infrastructure. Uh, we do things like Legoland, which is, by the way, a very small return, um, but necessary because you need the volume and you need the attraction. You need to create the buzz. So that's what we do, creating the buzz, but, but uh, hopefully not bankrupt the country as we're doing it. Uh, but we are a commercial entity. We do have long-term profit objectives. I still have KPIs and IRRs to uh, deal with. Uh, so when an engineer talks IRR, you, you know you're in trouble. Eh? Yeah? Anyway, and we have land banks. Uh, so the idea is we use the, these land banks to initiate and, and move our projects. There are other developers in, in Iskandar as well, and, and, and those are listed here. And Iskandar Investment <coughs> is it's a government lit company. And it, it, you know, a GLC in this, in this part of the world is a very unique uh, entity. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, government linked company means it's owned by the government in some form or other, but it's operated as a private company and therefore <coughs> has to have profit and commercial targets. Yeah? So in this instance, uh, IIB is owned 60% by Kazana National. Um, this is our you know, sovereign role fund, would you like to say it? 20% by EPF um, and then 20% by KPRG. KPRG is the state government's infrastructure investment arm. So what does this mean? It means that the federal and state government owns the, co the company, and you and I, as contributors to EPF, also owns the company. So this is this is my lecture to my staff. Like, Don't waste money. It's our money. Why are we wasting? You know. So we all we all very careful about this. Or at least I, I like I like to think that we all very careful about spending money. Okay, right? Okay. Anyway, so that's where we are in terms of ownership. And the land banks I mentioned earlier, we have about just under 10,000 acres of land uh, in primarily Zone B that I described earlier, and these are where the, our projects are, and I'll talk about it in a minute. Um, and some nice pictures of me signing ceremonies and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you, can, you can avoid that. Okay, so now, when you talk about catalytic projects, what do they mean? They, they, okay, these, these are projects that will bring at value to itself as well as its surrounding properties. It creates new destinations, it creates new economies, and it creates new economic activities. Okay. So here, Medini is one example. And this is an uh, international zone, not quite a free trade zone. Uh, for those of you who understand what that means, it's not quite a free trade zone. But you, in a, if you are operating in several sectors, which I'll go through later, are able to enjoy incentives. Okay, so this is to accelerate interest, accelerate investment into the into this area called Medini. So this uh, this area of Medini is let's see, oh, okay, uh, anyway, but it's it's, it's two thousand odd acres, and we are focusing now on the northern sector of Medini, uh, which is a uh, lifestyle and leisure uh, um, zone, and amongst other things, is where we are going to do Legoland. Uh, and then you know many of you are asking, why the hell are you doing Legoland? Uh, well, Legoland is an attraction that um, is really catered for the young between the age of 12, 2 to 12 and their parents because the parents spend the money. Yeah? Why, are we, why are we focusing on that and more family oriented rather than you know, the stuff that you guys would be more appreciative of? Roller coaster! Mm -hmm. uh, it's because you know, the, the, we think that the um, entertainment for the young adults is quite well catered for already, whether with, within Singapore or, or you know, Clown Valley, but it's the younger um, children that's not as well catered for. Anyway, so rather than spend money on another Universal Studios or Six Flags, and those of you know this, very expensive stuff, uh, we decided to do a Lego Light instead. And, but you know, at the end of the day, I think it, it was the right mix. And if you remember, we are now working in collaboration with Singapore, not competing. 
So you gotta have things that complement what they have there as well. And this is certainly one of those that would complement rather than compete. So Legoland is the main um, uh, initiative here in the in Medini North. But along with that, we're doing lifestyle malls. Uh, this is hopefully a new concept of a, of a retail mall, which is uh, now really understanding the trends of shopping. Uh, you know, by the way, when, when I was growing up, when I was at your age, going to a shopping mall was a thing that you have to do, <coughs> rather than a thing that you actually want to do. Yeah? But uh, now, and, 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 and I said, I guess my kids can attest to it, every Saturday is, okay, okay, let's go, let's go meet Valley, let's go Curve, let's go, you know, wait, your destination on a weekend is a mall. But your activity is not, not shopping, not necessarily shopping, eh? it's entertainment. And it's uh, hopefully good, clean, fun also. Yeah. Um, so you go, to the, you go to the movies, you go play, you go bowling, you know, stuff that you do in, uh, in uh, uh, you know, which are activities with family and, and, and friends, yeah? But somehow in Malaysia it's become a shopping centre. Right? But here is essentially another, you know, recognising the, the trends of the future, uh, which is essentially talking about entertainment. You know, you, know, you, you spend a week busily working, <coughs> what do you want to do on the weekend to enjoy? So here is this mall that we hope to put everything under one roof. Along with that will be three hotels, uh, office buildings, hospitals, etc. etc. So what you see in this page essentially is what's necessary for the modern lifestyle. Okay? Hopefully designed to the same standards. So we are busily working on the ground now. Uh, got all sorts of wonderful activities, mostly those of you who are engineers, lots of tractors on site. Very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> like cutting down hills. Anyway, and then some pretty images of what Lego land will look like and Amongst other things, and, and, and I don't know whether some of you saw that article, um, the best job in the world. Uh, it's not in Australia running a running a resort. It's going. It's, it's working for the model shop for Legoland, because they, they basically play, pay you to play with Lego bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, or what? Anyway, but you know, but but having said that, and you know, we, we, I I thought it was really quirky when we decided to do this, but at the end of the day, it's now created a new um, career. So we we oh just, just background we we are going to be building somewhere in the region of s using six million bricks Lego bricks in the photo I'm sure some of you remember like, playing with Lego bricks yeah <laughs> six million of that Im imagine to create all these things yeah but by, by the way no no it doesn't mean that my roller coasters are going to be made of <laughs> 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 uh, but what we're having is there are themed models around those things, yeah? Okay, anyway, but, and, and there will be the, this thing called, and, and those of you who've been to Legolands, there is a mini land. So you'll have the Patronas Towers uh, version in the mini land, and so it'll be the tallest mini, uh, I mean, I shouldn't, I shouldn't tell you too many things, I think I have to <laughs> Anyway, uh, but, um, but you know, we'll be using six million bricks. So somebody has got to create these models, yeah? So we have now hired 12 people, and, and, and they are a combination, and I'm, I was quite surprised. There was one lecturer who gave up a, quite a good career uh, teaching industrial engineering in Johor uh, to be a Legoland model builder. Took cut his speed, by the way. So I, that was another, hmm. <laughs> okay, but, but for some people, this is cr very creative work. Yeah? And, and you know, I mean, I, when I was growing up, when I was a child, the only thing I could do was a house. And it was a very bad house also. So I gave up playing with Lego, I think about after two weeks. <laughs> and same thing with my kids. <laughs> but uh, there are very, very creative people that can do many, many wonderful things. And you know, again, I invite you to go through some of the websites that show what they do. So this is like in Malaysia. And again, it's a normal, normal theme park with a ro roller coasters and all that, but you know, with this, with this uh, Lego theme. This is the mall that we're talking about. Um, we're doing residential development, so save some money and go and buy a house in, in uh, in Iskandar. And this is when I was mentioning the incentives in Iskandar. So we, we have, uh, for those of you familiar, the MSC incentives, you know, 10 years tax break on corporate taxes. You may not be so concerned about it today, but I'm sure your bosses are. Um, and, and some of this uh, ability to source capital globally. Uh, by the way, a lot of these incentives that we now have, I mean, that we had, was essentially a template that the government used for implementation in the rest of the country. Yeah? Some of the things that, that, that our Prime Minister announced in the last, uh, in the last 12 months, uh, essentially is putting in practice uh, some of the things that we had started in this kind of. Are you sitting uh, an area that some of you may be very interested in particularly? This is a, a 300 acre site where we are bringing in good quality university programs, whether from overseas or locally, uh, to establish a branch campus in Malaysia. Uh, first of which, which you may have heard was uh, Newcastle Medical School. Um, so uh, we actually, actually got two batches, uh, one batch already studying in the UK now, uh, 14 students uh, in the UK, in Newcastle, uh, doing their, finishing out their first year.